What's up guys? Today's video is sponsored by Mystery Tackle Box. So today we're going to attempt to do the Mystery Tackle Box Slam. First I'm going to show you guys what's in the box. We're going to go out and catch some toads with it. So this month's box, this is from last month. Don't let this fool you. Um, I just threw it in this box because I hadn't used it yet and it looked really sweet. But we do have some really sweet stuff in here. So this is the Yo Zuri. This is like a wake bait. It dies 1.5 foot. This will work really good this time of the year whenever those bass are up near the top of the water chasing bait fish. We have some hooks by Harmony, making better tackle, making better anglers. Those are some wide gap hooks. Pretty sweet looking hooks there. Then we have a Weston. This is a top water bait. It's got a little propeller on the end there and it's got a swivel on the propeller so it's gonna have a little bit different action than your typical prop bait hmm, looks interesting we're definitely gonna try it out now this is probably what I'm most excited about in the box we have a Guggen squad this is a flat sided square build that dives three to six foot and with it cooling down right now and these these bass chasing bait fish i mean that's a perfect little shad imitator it's got a sweet paint job it's got little scale flakes on it uh, kind of like the lucky craft design so yeah i'm really excited about that i know i'm gonna catch some toes with it and then you have this little shuttle bug this is like a little finesse jig and it's got a flat head on it so you can kind of dig the bottom with it or you can just kind of keep that flat head and swim it across the bottom I'll show you guys how to use it later then we have these these look very interesting this is black and blue which in the south black and blue is a very prime color works very well because there's a bunch of bluegill down here that are black and blue and those bigger bass um i don't know what is about the black and blue color but it just kind of triggers them into thinking it's a big bluegill I don't know why, but I usually catch bigger bass whenever I fish with black and blue. You don't ever see a bluegill that's black and blue that's small. The adult males are black and blue, so I'm definitely going to catch a toe with that. So what I just showed you guys was over $40 worth of baits in the Mystery Tackle Box. And you can get your first Mystery Tackle Box for as little as $10 if you use the promo code REALJEDI and the link that's in the description down below. You guys got to check it out. I'm going to go ahead and pair these baits up with the rods that I'm going to choose. So I guess I could kind of tell you guys why and what I'm choosing here um, as far as rod goes for which bait. Some of the baits that may be kind of important, the others not so much. Um, right here, this is a Phantom Reel. It is a 701 gear ratio, so it's kind of in the medium. You know, if you're fishing with a deep diving crankbait, I like a 631. I'm fishing with a lipless crankbait. You got to crank that thing faster. I like a 761 or even an 811. But this is kind of in the middle. So it's gonna be good for your shallower diving crankbaits, like the one I'm gonna tie on, which is the Guggen Squad flat banger here. With that 7.6 rod, I can really fling this thing out there, get a lot of distance with it, and it's got a medium fast tip, so I can still feel that bait vibrating back and forth. Now, this time of the year, I like to use fluorocarbon with my cranking, because I like to be able to feel that bait vibrating. And whenever I reel it just fast enough where I can feel that bait vibrating, a lot of times I can trigger those fish into biting. Just like my cousin's here, ain't got time to show you guys how to rig the rest of this stuff, but we'll see you on the water. Oh, he's a monster. Oh, oh no. no. Was that with a swim bait? Uh, Monster with the swim bait, boys. He missed him. Then I hooked that big one with a fluke, remember? The I think it was a weightless fluke I tied on. With what? Ah. Oh, there he is. You get the hook in that time? Finally got one. It's a good one. He caught that with a shuttle bug out of Mr. Tackle Box. <laughs> Like they can see anyway. 
Yeah. Oh, tank, 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 tank. Not a tank, but he's a good one. He's a good one. Good old Coogan squad. Banger. Banger. The banger. Of course, I would catch one after it gets dark. That's what a bite feels like though. Felt good. Broke the skunk. First bass I've caught in like a month. <laughs> feels like it. Give me my hook back. He was not coming off that hook, dude. That hook got him in the bone. By the bottom of the mouth and the bone. That's that braid. That braid got a hook in there. All right, we caught one finally. So throw it back. Oh, I caught a fish. <laughs> <laughs> he nailed it too. It felt so good. All right, guys, it is the next day now. We caught two fish yesterday after it got dark. It was tough. We're on a completely different lake, though. New times. We are going to catch some toads and hopefully finish off catching something with everything in the box. So yesterday, <laughs> that was a big one. Yesterday, I caught a fish with the Guggen Squad. Yeah, the Guggen Squad. The crank, squabble, yeah. the squabble, quag, quag, the squab. The Guggen Squab crankbait. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, we got that knot off the list, but I'm gonna continue to fish with that thing to start off with because it dives right depth and this lake has a lot of shad. That's their primary food source. That's what I'm gonna start out with. We're gonna catch a tank with it. I might hit the club just to get up sideways. I might hit the club just to get up sideways. See it. Oh, oh, oh toady roadie, toady roadie. That would worm? Oh yeah, that's a toady roadie. Oh, it's a big one. One. <laughs> that feeling he was as soon as he started swimming to the deep water. Yeah. It's like an eight pounder there. Golly. This is the future. Uh, he's like six and a half, seven. Anyway, I got my scale right here on the side of my book bag. Why do they look so much bigger in the water? <laughs> All right. I say uh, six one. Four now. He looks so much bigger in the water. <laughs> four pounds, eight ounces. Four and a half. <laughs> Dang. You're right. Four eight. I was way off. I might hit the club just to get up sideways. I might hit the club just to get up sideways. He's on the board, guys. He's whooping my butt. Two to zero. I guess I might have to pick a worm up. Maybe they're like half asleep. Ooh, that's a bite. Oh, damn it. I finally had a bite. It felt like a brim. It was like, 
Tick, 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 tick. Get up sideways. Get up sideways. Oh, he got a boy. He got a boy. He caught a fish. It's a tiny little one. That's why we don't worm fish. <laughs> that's exactly why, right there. See if I can catch his older brother. What the f I scared the shit out of me. <laughs> <laughs> He's got another one. Oh, it's a tiny one. Still more than what I've caught. The only thing we're doing different now, we have the same size weight on, and I've got a little hook on. I've got my weight peg. So the only difference now is the fact that you're using the shaky head, and I'm not. Whooping my butt with a wooden spoon. <laughs> I'm not happy right now. I'm not happy. Here, let her stick bait. I guess I'm just gonna have to put on what he's he's fishing with. Or maybe I just lost my touch, guys. Comment down below. Maybe I just suck maybe at fishing. Is the mono. I'm fishing with mono, dude. Now you are. Go <sighs> get my bait back. What are you on about? Me catching a fish? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, what the f <laughs> He was like... <laughs> I hope I got that okay. I hope you guys can see that. <laughs> That bird just like fell through the trees and hit every, <laughs> hit every branch on the way down. It was crazy. I've never seen a bird. It looked like a monkey losing grip and falling out of a tree. I can do it. <laughs> Incognito mode. Oh. Is it a monster? No. Nope. It's a little one. It's a fish. No one in the boat. Still losing. I don't know how to fish anymore. I'll catch one one day, boys. <laughs> All right, that's it. I'm gonna have to put on stick bait. <laughs> He's got a good one. <laughs> That's another solid one. Hold him up to the camera where they can see how big he is. Yeah. That's he's like he's bigger than the last one. He's probably Oh yeah, he's definitely bigger. Guys, I just could not get it together this day to catch these fish. I even tried switching to the same exact bait line that he was using and still couldn't catch the fish. So the only difference was he was using a stand-up shaky head jig and I guess sometimes that makes a difference. But have you ever had a day like that where you just can't get it together? Can't catch fish and seems like the other person in the boat is catching fish? Comment down below if you have. Please hit that like button. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and we'll see you again next time. Yeah, let's go.